Hey, welcome to OxyCenter.com. Uh, when you get a chance, give us a like and subscribe. We really would appreciate it. Um, I do want to talk about our little project that we just finished. I spent a year on the Gato submarine, and so I decided to go something uh, a little bit in a different direction. Um, I love the Gillow models, and I decided to go ahead and put together the, uh, uh, the Nakajima Rufi. Uh, this was a fun kit to put together, and i got to tell you, the parts were pretty good quality I mean they just fell right off the board you didn't have to sit there with your you know exacto knife playing out the notches for your stringers and uh, everything went together well uh, I went with the uh, colored tissue I'll put down where I got that in the description um, so instead of a flying model I decided to do a uh, display the parts come for the propellers put those together I had to carve the hub and I turned around and made a uh, insert here for the cowling uh, for it to fit into um, now I wasn't happy with the decals they were um, they weren't printed right so uh, being the impatient person person I am I didn't you know call them up and ask for another set or you know uh, go ahead and buy another set even though they are a buck fifty if you want them. Uh, instead uh, I went ahead and uh, Picked up a set of shipping labels. Thank you, Tank RC. I'll put a link to his uh, Twitter feed out there. Uh, he had a great idea a couple, uh, probably about a year ago, year and a half, on uh, how to make decals for your cars. Uh, I saw that and I thought, you know, that was a really good idea. I'm going to steal it. I'm going to borrow it, but I will credit him for, uh, you know, throwing that idea my way. And uh, I went ahead and uh, I, I have Photoshop and I also. Uh, downloaded Inkscape it's it's free so uh, there's nothing stopped from doing that so I went ahead and uh, created my own decals uh, for the model and they seem to be working out just fine uh, uh, one little tip here even though I'm, re I'm, us I'm using the red tissue here uh, I went ahead and got uh, some flat red paint acrylic and uh, if you have any imperfections here in the in the tissue it covers it up really well uh, as, as you can tell, the uh, all the nose plastic pieces here uh, meet match up with the uh, tissue just fine. And I'll put a link again. Like I said again, I'll put a link to the product here I got from Hobby Lobby. But anyway, uh, one other thing that I did different this time on this video is I did the assembly, but I also did the covering for the model. So uh, if you'll just kind of bear with me and you get through, you'll see how I covered the kit. Anyway. It's a fun kit. Uh, it's really nice. It assembles well. Parts are good quality. Some people would disagree, but I'm going to have to say for this particular kit, at this particular time, I think it was excellent. Um, you know, if you got young kids and you want to get them to a hobby, geez, this is it. I mean, it's cheap. Uh, it's fun. It's something you guys can do together, and uh, I would highly recommend it. Uh, now, uh, my RC Center, remote control uh, anything. Uh, Gillow models, you would think they don't go, but we have a group out there. Uh, if you're building, come on out, show us what you're working on. Would appreciate it. Uh, we're for everybody. Anybody who's got a project, we want to see what you're doing. Anyway, thanks. Show us what you're doing. Come on out. Appreciate it. Anyway, uh, here's the video.
Thank you.